What's up, my fellow humans? My name is Will Patterson. Hello. Gorgeous. Today, we have to do number 18 of the 30 day logo design challenge, which means I am three days past halfway. Hallelujah. And in today's video, I will not be including another project because I got another soccer game tonight and I don't have don't have too much time. Let's get started on this logo. This one comes from Kylie Dawson. Hey, I own a sushi bar in downtown Los Angeles and looking for a fresh logo. <laughs> nice. The name of my shop is called Sakura. This means flowering cherry blossom tree. So I'd actually be cool with using a cherry blossom, but please don't feel that you need to use this. Just an idea. I am definitely open to any other kind of sushi iconography. I do require that the name Sakura is included in the logo. Thanks, Kylie Dawson, Sakura. Okay, Kyle, I'm gonna get started on your logo design right now. Let's go. Okay, since I'm only doing a logo design project today, I'm gonna actually go through my steps more specifically. So first off, we're gonna I'm gonna look at probably a bunch of like Sakura logos and then also some sushi logos to find some inspiration. Sakura logo. Let's try that. Let's see what happens there. So I think there's either two routes you can go down. One is to have like an actual flower of the sakura. And one is to have like a branch. You use a whole branch or even a whole tree. If you know what I mean, then you know that I like to look at logos. Yeah. <laughs> Good rhymes. Thank you. Thank you, madame. Monsieur. Merci. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna look for some sushi logo now. Sushi logo. Ooh, this is cool. I like this a lot. It looks like a, it looks like a thumbprint. That's really cool. I like that. I like that. Hey, this is kind of clever. They put a bunch of fishes in there. Okay, so I have an idea. I want to get a cherry blossom flower, not the tree, just the flower. And then see if there's a way that I can put, I can like cut out a fish from it or something that looks like a cut out of salmon or whatever. Let's try that, shall we? Let's try that. Let's get going. All right, so I started by sketching some petals and I wanted to get the petals right. That was kind of very important. I was referencing a lot of photos online and I think one of the most important things was that there's maybe five petals. <laughs> usually, I don't know, that's how many I was counting usually. And that they're about the same width as they are height. So that was something I tried to capture. Um, and then they're, they're not too sharp at the top. They just kind of flatten off a little bit. If that makes sense. Um, I was toying with the idea of having lines between the petals, but then I thought, nah, let's move forward with just a solid object. And then I met a little fishy boy, and I was checking out silhouettes of how fish boys look from the side, from a silhouette version. So I made this fish, gave him a little fin up top, yeah, that's right, and a side fin. And then, uh, so I just went ahead with the idea, and I cut out kind of a fish from the, from the leaf, the flower here. And I wanted to add some dynamicness to the flower petal itself. So I made one side of the top of the flower petal uh, sharp and the other side not, which is kind of interesting. I think it creates more of a, a flow around the circle, which is interesting. All right, so then I came in and I added the lines in afterward. And if you ever want to make your logo or artwork look more interesting and dynamic, Make your lines different widths. So start it out wide on one end and then come in skinnier on the other end. It'll look much cooler than if it's just the same width of line always. It depending, it just, you know, how you use it. <laughs> uh, so I settled on a couple of colors, kind of a tan and a dark purple. I got them from a picture of Sakura from the anime Naruto. Oh, great anime. Anyways. Um, I got to this point and I was, I don't know, I was pretty satisfied with it, but I, there was still a couple of things bothering me about the placement and the size of the fish boy. And mostly the fin up top. So I put lines to separate the fins, just give it a little bit more detail and character. But uh, this is where I stopped initially. 
So you saw that it takes many versions to get to one that you think is pretty okay. Um, so this is what I have so far. Now, I'm just going to say, normally, I stop here in a video and just say, oh, okay, that's good enough. But um, since I'm only doing one project today, I'm going to go ahead and try to find things I can make better. So on this logo, a couple things are bothering me right now. Number one, I'm not certain if the fish feels like it's in the middle of the flower, right? The space here is more than the space here. So I might just move the fish down to the bottom, the bottom of the fish body to be about there, be more centralized. You see all these, these lines that come here and here and here and, and especially here. They're creating a lot of um, friction I don't necessarily like that. I wonder if there's a way I can fix it. The position of the eye, I think is in the wrong place. I think it's too far left. And let's just bring it down to the right a little bit more. The fin, if I zoom out, I don't think the fin shows up enough. So if I could just add a bit of thickness around the edge here that would make it a little bit better so let me uh let me make those changes and see what we get after that okay here are the changes i made so let me show you a before and after so this is after that's before after before after before so i just went ahead and put some space between the fish and the the lines of the flower and I think what we we don't need what we only need an indication that these are different petals right we only need the indication so technically these don't even have to go in as far as they do for you to see that there's separated petal of uh, petals on the flower itself but it just helps to add a little bit of space now if I wanted to take it a little bit further I would make sure that the Spacing is better. There's a problem here. There's a little bit of a flow problem there. We should fix that. But I would probably actually stay further up on this guy, a little bit further up there, further up there, and that one's fine. But let the fish breathe a little bit more. Let me go and um, just give it a little bit more space and see, see how that goes. All right, so this is, um, I just made some quick adjustments to the amount of space around there. Let me see. That was a second ago, this is now. So let's, this was the first version. Now hopefully it's a little bit more clear that these were problematic at the start. So we added some space, moved the fish, added some lines there, and then there was, still wasn't enough space here, I think. And this petal right here wasn't, didn't have a very good flow. So we fixed all those things. Maybe the petals don't come in enough now but maybe that's just being tricked because this one is there. I think this is fine. If you just saw this logo for the first time, you think, hey, that's, that's nice. Okay, all right, that's why I'm gonna stop for this logo design. Thank you so much for following along with the process. I will catch you tomorrow morning like a boss boy player. <laughs> okay, see you later, alligator. Bye.